This is Ryan Acid Heads Murphy with Corruptive Influence of the Week, where I tell you about people who are interesting to me, do interesting things, things that interest me, and on the basis that since I'm a person and you're all people out there watching this, some of you will probably find them interesting too. That and I want to corrupt your minds and hearts and souls, because I'm an evil bastard. <laughs> okay. So who is the corruptive influence this week? Let me check from my list over here and see who I want to talk about. <laughs> Ministry. Let me cross them off my list now. Ministry. Ministry. What can I tell you about Ministry? Started off as an 80s electronic pop group. Although you listen to some of the songs, you already know that these are not your typical 80s pop lyrics and styles that are going on. And then moving into the 90s, they definitely took a different direction. <laughs> Al Jorgensen, I believe, is the name of the lead guy for Ministry. Well-known producer in certain circles. Let's just say that they went more Nine Inch Nails than Flock of Seagulls. <laughs> Way more. In fact, they're more f f further past Nine Inch Nails than Nine Inch Nails is. Trent Reznor, who will be a different influence, so cross him off your mind until we get to that video. So, we got people playing with the water up here. So, what else can I say about ministry? Some good songs. Um, what's a good gateway song for them? Huh. New World Order, NWO. That's a pretty good one. Um, Thieves is a pretty good one. They did a music video and song for AI, the movie AI. They're the group that's uh, at the Android Destroying Festival. That's Ministry, if you've ever seen that movie. So that's one you could look up. I forget the name. What About Us is the name of the song. That one. That one's not too bad. Um, let's see. So yeah, those are ones you can check out. And if you like what you hear and see, you can go from there. And of course, let them corrupt you. I'll see you on the next one. Have a good day. Bye-bye.